Welcome to Heart Rate Variability Basics. This four-part series covers the history, benefits, and evidence base for heart rate variability, what is heart rate variability biofeedback, the social nervous system, and activating the social nervous system with heart rate variability biofeedback. My name is Darius Rountree Harrison, and I'm the EEG and heart rate analyst at Amphi, and I'll be presenting this series. The history of heart rate variability begins in ancient Greece with the epically named Herophilus, one of the earliest recorded anatomists and physicians, was the first person documented to record the heart rate. In ancient Rome, Galen was the first person known to have used the pulse to diagnose health conditions. During the Middle Ages, there was a long pause, but following the Enlightenment, Reverend Halley's, a true Enlightenment man, amid his many discoveries, measured blood pressure and the variability between heartbeats for the first time. From this point on, there were numerous discoveries, including recording the heart's electrical potentials and analysing the time, frequency and non-linear qualities of the heart rate. Today, a lot is understood about heart rate variability. Higher heart rate variability has been documented to be strongly associated with better health, especially heart disease, better physical fitness and post-exercise recovery, sustained attention and working memory, better emotional regulation such as lower anxiety levels, and the ability to adapt to stress within our capacity to do so. In short, higher heart rate variability is a very good thing to have. But how do we get higher heart rate variability? The answer is heart rate variability biofeedback, a process where your heart rate is measured and displayed back to you in real time via a device that rewards you for improving your heart rate variability. The reward usually comes in the form of a game or a movie that progresses only when your heart rate variability is high. This is one of the benefits of heart rate variability. In combining physiology and psychology through a game, you can bring awareness to and change what you previously weren't aware of, namely the variability of your heart rate. With practice, heart rate variability biofeedback allows you to access all of the benefits associated with higher heart rate variability, such as better health and emotional regulation. Some of the other benefits include increasing mindfulness, working on the solution and not the problem, and less emphasis on verbal communication. Plus, playing games and watching movies is fun. I think something fun that makes you healthy is a winning idea. The evidence supports heart rate variability biofeedback for a number of conditions, including anxiety, depression, hypertension and prehypertension, irritable bowel syndrome, and chronic muscle pain, which are all classed at level 4 efficacy according to the Joint Efficacy Task Force guidelines for evaluating the clinical efficacy of biofeedback interventions. There are studies and reviews for the efficacy of heart rate variability biofeedback coming out all the time, with astounding results. For instance, one study showed that two weeks of heart rate variability biofeedback training in long-term alcoholics resulted in maintained abstinence for at least a year. Across the board, heart rate variability biofeedback research sees large effect sizes, and I suspect, with more time and more research, we'll see the evidence level for many other applications of heart rate variability increase. Namely, because they are underpinned by similar physiological processes. So watch this space. To sum up, the heart rate has been used since ancient times as a measure of health, and measuring its variability provides additional insight into health and well-being. Having high heart rate variability is a very good thing for a lot of important reasons and biofeedback helps you improve it in a fun and evidence-based way. That's it for this talk, but join us next time for part two when we delve into what heart rate variability actually is. Until then, lead from the heart.